Thank you very much for welcoming uh, in this conference. Uh, I hope all technical things will work. And I have to say uh, thank you for my colleague, Everita Zatya Kliavina, uh, who is the author of this presentation. And she is uh, joining us in online uh, today. And I will sit uh, because we have a video. And I have to say that uh, one of the one very important activity of the live co hybrid project was the, manage was the management actions um, regarding the invasive alien species. And uh, uh, Nature Park Pia Jura uh, is trusted uh, by the species of these uh, alien guests. And um, more thrusted in the nature park are dunes and grasslands. And I can s say that uncontrolled distribution of invasive alien species um, change, uh, change uh, natural habitats, vegetation structure, and species composition, and it uh, uh, can be um, observed that uh, these um, changes uh, are going very rapidly. Uh, by our project, uh, we targeted um, six uh, plant species. It's a Rosa rugosa, uh, Lactucta tatarica, Solidago canadensis, Impatia glandulifera, uh, Melanchier spicata, and Aronia melanocarpa. Uh, I don't use here uh, English uh, words of these species because uh, I'm not sure that uh, I know they uh, <laughs> the right uh, the right uh, name of these species, uh, uh, but uh, everyone can uh, looks. Uh, uh, I I will use these uh, Latin names in my presentation. Sorry for that. Um, about Rosa rugosa, uh, this uh, species. Um, naturally lives in uh, Eastern Asia. On Latvia coastline, Rosa rugosa is one of the most uh, widespread alien species. Uh, and in Nature Park Pia Jura, uh, Rosa rugosa occur in four dunes, uh, grasslands and wooden dunes. Uh, the species was initial initially introduced as an ornamental plant in many places of Europe, and uh, but uh, on the Latvian coastline, uh, Rosa rugosa was planted uh, not only uh, for decorative purposes uh, in the mid of uh, past century, uh, but um, also for coastal uh, threatening uh, to uh, stop erosion processes on the coastal uh, belt, uh, mainly in dunes. Uh, other one, uh, very problematic uh, and new species for Latvia uh, coastline is uh, Lactuta tatarica. And this uh, species, this plant is common for steppes regions of Eurasia. Uh, and but uh, we can see uh, in our dunes, forest dunes, that uh, this species feels very well uh, in our habits as well, and uh, can very rapidly occupy large areas of the forest dunes. Yes, it's a root uh, of, the, of this plant, and it's uh, not easy to combat, uh, to work with this plant, uh, because it's a handwork. Only handwork can be used for removing of this plant. I will show you uh, later these methods. Uh, uh, of course, uh, this, uh, this plant, Lactuta tatarica, uh, can change really very, very rapidly the composition of um, poor dunes, so plant composition. Uh, other one, uh, very problematic uh, uh, species, uh, especially for grasslands, 
of uh, Nature Park Pia Jura is uh, Solidago Canadensis. Uh, distribution of the Solidago Canadensis related uh, with urban uh, areas uh, where the plant was used um, as ornamental plant. Uh, um, for these uh, last uh, uh, three uh, species, uh, these species occur in forests in Nature Park Pia Jura, and one of them is a uh, Impatia glandulifera, and uh, we found this uh, species in alluvial forests, uh, in humid uh, depression, and on the banks of the uh, smallest rivers. And this species I is uh, connected, of course, with the uh, coastal villages and settlements and their surroundings. Uh, dune forests um, overgrowth with uh, various uh, shrub species, and one of them is uh, Amalentia spicata and Aronia medlanocarpa. Um, these species occur in wooden dunes in Nature Park Fiejura in very high density. Uh, the introduction of, uh, introducing of these species is, rela is related with uh, synanthropization uh, of the wood and dunes habitats. Uh, and uh, high density of these untypical shrubs for wood and dunes, of course, uh, change conditions of insulation and humidity. Uh, here only a few photos uh, from these habits uh, invaded with uh, these species. If we uh, talk about methods, uh, what was uh, implemented uh, within the Life Cohabit project, uh, we used a uh, different kind of methods um, for removal of these plants. Uh, it was a uh, uh, remo removing of the plants, uh, not only is this a um, visible part, but uh, roots as well. Uh, cutting of shrubs, uh, moving, and grass removal. And other one uh, method as well was used. I will show you it a little bit later. And of course, all these materials should be removed from the area, from the territory, uh, because um, for example, for Lactuta tatarica, it's uh, very important uh, to uh, clean this area from all uh, parts of this plant. Otherwise, there is no. Um, uh, it's not sustainable to implement that kind of measure uh, to remove this Lactuta tatarica. Um, a little bit about the areas uh, where the combatic of combating of invasive alien species were implemented in the nature park Pia Jura. Um, uh, in, in total, uh, in six areas uh, were uh, uh, covered by this activity. Um, for each uh, area were um, different uh, targeted species and different targeted habitats. Uh, where um, removal of the invasive alien species was implemented. Uh, for a Bakar area, uh, where is the um, uh, grasslands habitat uh, dominated, um, uh, the targeted um, species was Rosa rugosa, uh, mainly. And uh, here was a removal of plants and roots, uh, on of course, for uh, cutting of shrubs. Uh, here you can see a little bit about the method used here, and this was the first, ti first time uh, in Nature Park PU that the milling method was used. Um, it's a very effective method, uh, and uh, but uh, not so uh, carefully for uh, uh to 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 these uh, other plants uh, because. There is this method destroy <laughs> all roots uh, for the for the time. Uh, 
uh, of course, as these natural uh, plants come back, uh, and our monitoring uh, results show it uh, that uh, after two years, uh, plants come back, and uh, and some of uh, Rosa rugosa develops as well, uh, come back, but in, in not so high density, and this activity was very successful for uh, this concrete area. Uh, here is uh, some uh, pictures from shows uh, these uh, changes uh, by the years. Only two years, uh, o o yeah, you can see two years uh, is passed from the uh, active implementation of this action. Uh, but the result is very good uh, for this uh, particular area. Other one area where the activity were implemented was Rita Bulli, and here's the targeted uh, species was Latuta tatarica. And this was my method uh, where the only removal uh, by hands uh, should be used. And it's a very slow method, uh, but if, if it's possible to take very, uh, very, it's a very properly method and uh, results are very good. Um, here you can see the, how it looks in the, uh, in our in our monitoring pictures, and uh, as I said, that it's very important uh, to remove all parts of this plant uh, from the area as far as possible. Um, and uh, we can say that uh, um, this species is very interesting for uh, social activities as well. And uh, more than uh, 10 common work events were organized in the nature park areas uh, for uh, combating of uh, Lasuta tatarica. And uh, it's a very good uh, uh, tool for involvement of society, uh, for awareness raising. And uh, during this awareness raising activities, of course, uh, you can implement uh, environmental education activities as well. For example, uh, for recognizing of the plants, so where the differences from, for example, uh, Lactuta tatarica versus uh, Hieracium umbellatum. And other one activities, uh, you can involve uh, other specialists. So maybe Yanis uh, sometime can uh, help us in these social activities uh, to to tell about the erosion processes and, and so on. Uh, there's a big field for social implementation, I think. And, and everyone, uh, if it's a sunny day, uh, wants to be on the beach. <laughs> uh, other one, I said that um, the most problematic place in, in our... Uh, uh, on our... Uh, activities for 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 this uh, invasion of alien species combating was the Daugavgriva area. Uh, why it was a problematic place? Uh, because uh, there was not only Solidago canadensis occur in this area, uh, but there was a large amount of waste and debris um, as well. And uh, we uh, be bef before the moving, before the uh, cutting of the grass, uh, all this uh, debris uh, uh, and waste uh, should be removed from the area. And it was a big expenses uh, and, uh, and a lot of work uh, with this area. But uh, you can see uh, the results are very good. Uh, the area we will s uh, visit tomorrow, and uh, you will see that uh, the results is, is, is really uh, significant uh, for this area, and uh, uh, the target habitat in this place is, a, of course, is the grassland. Other one place uh, for uh, combating of uh, Lactuta tatarica was in Kalmgale. This was a very um, uh, narrow um, belt of the uh, coastline. Uh, and of course, uh, here as well, removal of plants by hands uh, was used. 
uh, here you can see the result of this plant and uh, and density of the species uh, we can see the uh, decrease essentially uh, uh, I can say that uh, wood and dunes in Gartiums uh, were cleaned uh, from shrubs of Aronia uh, melanocarpa and the melons here spicata uh, and only removal of plants uh, with roots uh, are effective method. Otherwise, uh, the new develops uh, of the shrubs uh, grows rapidly in the next year. Uh, and it's uh, not sustainable uh, to remove plant without roots. Uh, if we uh, talk about this uh, very uh, O only Vitaly this uh, plants, yeah. Uh, thank you, colleagues. <laughs> uh, very interesting place uh, in the nature park is Gauja Griva, as such. Uh, but uh, in this place, as well as the problems with uh, uh, invasive species, and uh, here's the target the species was Ros Rogosta. And uh, Maintenance uh, of the cleaned area um, will be continued for several years, and uh, these activities implemented within the project is only the first step uh, for the combating of invasive alien species in Nature Park Piaura. About the conclusions uh, and results, in totally, uh, it's a quite large area for direct. Uh, activities. It's more than uh, 60 hectares uh, within two municipalities. And uh, uh, different kind of methods uh, within our project was tested. And uh, recommendations uh, will be prepared based on our lessons learned and of course, uh, one of them is that uh, before implementation of the measures, uh, very uh, scrupulous uh, analysis of multiple factors uh, should be performed uh, for each targeted species. Uh, success of the measure depends on methods chosen, of course, and uh, manual work is recommended uh, for these vulnerable coastal habitats. And uh, combating of uh, invasive alien species is not a one-year activity. It's uh, very important uh, if we talk about the maintenance of the results. Uh, and the regular maintenance of the reached results should be ensured uh, for sustainability and cost effectiveness of these performed actions. Uh, Regarding uh, the invasive uh, alien species, is very important to react as early as possible. It's here, uh, as early as possible, and uh, implement man management actions in all affected area. It's not effective to work only in small places, uh, but it's better to choose one area, but to clean it uh, very, very properly. Uh, and as it was mentioned before, uh, involvement of the society uh, can be very successful, and it's a very good tool, uh, understandable tool, how to talk about the nature values uh, with the society not only here in Nature Park Piaura, but as well in other nature areas in Latvia and not only. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Uh, thank you once more my colleague Everita for this presentation. Hello, Everita. I, I hope you see me. Thank you. <laughs>